In our very first episode, we announced the 2014 Backtrack Athletes of the Year. It's all about athletics. 42.19 unofficial is the pace too fast for him. Let's see Ranti and Madima. This was one of the best races I've ran in so many years. Seems like Nian is going to win this with a new personal best. As Gladwin Mzazi comes in for the win. He's going to break 30. It is, it is athletic. And now turning straight into Star Street. Oh yes, backtrack. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned into the very first episode of Backtrack Uncut. I, Reggie Hafki, will of course be your host. So please, do get used to this. I do encourage you to stay tuned into this show as it brings you the latest of athletics news, the who's who in athletics, and of course the statistics and everything you want to know about this beautiful sport. Now you guys are probably wondering why I'm wandering in a desert. I'm simply wondering here because it is getting warm. Athletics in South Africa is warm. And I believe I'll be standing in the desert three months later again because it's even gonna get warmer and warmer. Now for you guys who don't know what warmer means, it means hotter. It's just gonna get hotter. I'm looking forward to records. People running the track on fire. But without wasting any time, let's have a look at some news and updates. Now Chris Hammer, Haramsa, went on to break the 40 to 45 age category. That's the veteran age category, of course. He went on to break that five event world record by 370 points. What a legend. Just a reminder, Chris Hammer, Haramsa, won 21 national titles in a row. And I'm only 22 years old, man. Legendary, I must say. Now for more information on the point system on this guy's, this legend's record, please just check it out. Now moving right along, we have some tax news. The prodigy Shante Finger made an interesting move to train with Henny Kotzer, but Henny Kotzer moved to Saudi Arabia. Now the front runner Theodore Nottling made an interesting move from Poch to join Johan Boeta's training group. Is tax the place to be? I don't know, because I have heard rumors that a lot of athletes are joining the gold mine at the Poch running project. I mean, those athletes are fit. They are fast, they are intelligent, and they are tough. And people who join this group is Gina Lostran, Kira Carstens, and the legendary caster Semenya, also joining this gold mine. He's the 400 meter specialist who we had rumors about that he will be running the 800 meters, Peter Conradi. I'm looking forward to this interesting move. Anyway, back to Hammer. Alan Cummings and Letitia Janssen van Rensburg joins the Hammer group in Sasselberg. Also making an interesting cheetah move to Corsis is South African and Varsity Cup champion Jean Muller. Greener pastures perhaps? I can't wait to see it, John. Now on international news, or rather, South Africans making it big internationally. Three of our athletes, Anaso Jobadwana, Nini Lili Titi, and of course, Dominic Scott, are making waves on the indoor circuit. Dominic Scott, of course, broke the national record, 3,000 meter indoor national record, that is, running an 8.52, 8.52. I'm going to repeat it again, 8.52, that is exceptional, well done Dominic. Of course, Ningi Lilitit is also in great shape, running his first 200 meters in 21.03. Indoors, I'm emphasizing that again, indoors, 21.03, that's fast man. And of course, our star, our Olympic star, Hanasa Jobadwana, clocking 6.60 in a 60 meter Run, another personal best for him. You are making us proud, Hanaso Chobadwana. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. Now the summer day has come and gone away in Paris, Rome, but I wanna go. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was live. Eh? <laughs> um, yes, guys, I was singing because I felt you know, some love 
Oh, Valentine's and stuff. <laughs> now Valentine's is all about love. So we just thought, what if the genes of two fast people actually collided? What would come out? So what if the genes of Simon Mahakwe and Caster Semenya collided? What do you guys think would come out? And now on some team news, or rather teams being selected to represent South Africa on the international or African circuit. We just like to congratulate the juniors being selected for South Africa to represent the country at the African Junior Championships. Guys and ladies, I know you guys are gonna do amazing. Go out there, have fun and soar on wings like eagles. Also selected was of course the SA cross country team to represent South Africa at the World Cross Country Championships. And of course some of the juniors will be running this weekend in Malawi as well. We wish you guys all of the best. And as I said earlier, you guys must soar on wings like eagles. Bring back those medals we wanted. And as the saying go, they leave the best for last. And man, that I leave the best for last. Not so long ago, the Eagles Club Classic Shootout, 600 meter that is, took part at the Elsie de Villiers Stadium at Tux. And man, was it packed. Waterkloof, you had some great gears there. But despite the gears, the gears was on the track. A new Eagles Club record, and of course, a new personal best for you, Reiner. Well done, we are looking forward to seeing you this season. Of course, on the ladies side, Wen Danielle went on to run a 128. Now that's an Eagles Club record and of course a personal best. Wenda, I believe there is so much more for you this season. Well done guys. I train while you sleep. Everything seems impossible until it's done. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Quotes used by champions themselves. We here at Backtrack believe in recognizing our athletes and hence we have the Athlete of the Week, Athlete of the Month, and Athlete of the Year Award. Now our very first nominees for the Athlete of the Month are Chris Haramsa, Gladwin Mzazi, Werner Fisser, and Ruben Els. So it's up to you to decide. Please do vote in the comments below. And now for the big announcement. The announcement we've all been waiting for. The Backtrack 2014 Athletes of the Year. Who do you think it is? We've had some stellar performances. We've had some amazing performances. World class, Commonwealth Games, Continental Cup, African Championships, proper national championships. And the winners are... Can I get a drum roll, please? And the winners are... Rukunet, Stienkamp and Cornel Fredericks! Oh yes! Now interestingly enough, both of these athletes are hurdle athletes. Stienkamp in the 100 meter hurdles and of course Cornell in the 400 meter hurdles. Both pushing for great performances during the 2014 season. Let's see what 2015 holds. All of the best for you two champions. Now, it's the beginning of the year and I'm sure everyone needs inspiration or motivation. And Mr. Donald Matipa, the CEO and founder of the Tembisa Street Mall, had this to say. It's always a pleasure to come up with initiatives. You must not allow obstacles or some minor problems to stand in your way. For example, when we started with the mile, the idea of the mile was only to promote road running and athletics in our community. And the only way to do it is to just to take the initiative because if we didn't take the initiative, no one can. Sometimes we've got ideas, we don't even try to test them. We say, no, but I don't have a sponsor. But while you can do it and just do it right, and the sponsors, when you pitch, they see, want to see the proof that you are capable of doing something because nobody can just uh, put millions in Reggie's thing and say, Reggie, go and start a mile. If you didn't start something, you must start somewhere, show the guys that we got the potential and the ability to do one, two, three, but all we are lacking is the sponsorship, the finance. And obviously somebody somewhere will see your proposal and your play and your commitment into doing things right and invest in your event. 
And for my message to all the athletic loving people for the 2015 is just use whatever you have to get to the top. Don't say I'm not, don't have uh, shoes, I don't have sponsors, then I must just sit at home. Use what you have at the present moment to get to the top. That is my main message to all the runners and all the race organizers. Great words from an inspiring man. Now if you have any questions or suggestions about today's show, Please don't hesitate commenting here on Facebook or here on Twitter. Or you can also visit our website. Now in order for us to get tracked back, we have to stand together. And hence, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this episode as much as possible. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of the very first show. I must say, I enjoyed myself and I really hope you enjoyed yourself too. Please don't hesitate tuning in next month or whatever day of the week you want. Of course, on YouTube, if you like me that much, please check us out more. It's all about athletics. Remember, have fun, be healthy, God bless, oh yes.